Hello, I'm Chooks and this is Talk That Talk to Chooks. Have you any issues or problem bothering you? Why not talk about it and get professional counsel? Join us on Facebook at Event One Bear as we talk about those important societal issues. It promises to be engaging, interesting and educating. Do not miss viewers my name is chooks and this is talk that talk to chooks today we'll be meeting a very important guest who was a behavioral therapist a mother and a blogger she will be sharing her experiences with us while she was growing up as a child Hello, sexual abuse on a girl child has become a very important study in our society over 20 percent of our girls are abused and as compared with the boys which are about eight percent Disappointingly, 30% are of the relative of the girl, which are the father, the brother, or the uncle. 60% are acquaintances who can be the friends of the family. Roughly, we have about 10% who are just strangers or neighbors. My name is Chooks, and this is Talk That Talk to Chooks. Joining us is Mrs. Olani K. Lawan. She is a mother, a behavioral therapy, and a blogger. She's going to be sharing some of her experiences with us. She was once a victim and now a victim. Madam, can you briefly tell us a bit about yourself? Um, I will say my name is Olan Kelawa. I'm a blogger. I am a therapist, you know, working with children and also an um, addicted, you know, patient. And I'm also a mother, like you said. Okay. All right. Abuse is a serious issue in our society and we critically need to examine the effect it has on the girl child. Can you briefly share some of your experiences growing up as a child? Yes, I, I grew up with my, my, my mom and my, my dad. I lost my dad when, when I was small. And, um, you know, we have cousins, we have um, neighbors, we have all of them living with us. Okay. And this started with my cousin. I was just, I think, eight years. And, um, you know, I couldn't just tell my mom what was going on, but I knew, I, did, I didn't see that sexual abuse then. It was just, I just was a normal thing until when, you know, the awareness came and someone had to come and tell me something is wrong, you know, and they were not for me. I was able to get help because I, I, I was able to talk and I got help that I needed, but it was not a pleasant experience at all. So it wasn't a pleasant experience, mm -hmm. and you were able to get the help that you need. Yeah. Because How? I was able to talk. Until you're able to talk, you can't get the help you need. And what if perhaps a girl child has refused to talk? How can you state this sporting silence? You can't until that child talks. Every every child moves everywhere they go to, and um, there's there's nothing you can do. But I'll give you an experience of um, a child that I worked with who was sexually abused. Okay. You know, we noticed that when, when we were in class, because I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a therapist, okay. and so we went to this school to help you know, some children. And um, I noticed that she she wasn't sitting well. She's always, you know, her bum bum is always you know, like this. All right. So by the time we, we, the teacher was so concerned about her, and was like, since you are a therapist, can you please come and help me out with this child? All right. And we got there, asked her to follow me, go to the, to the toilet. By the time I opened her up, she was she has, I'm talking about a four year old child. Okay. She can't talk. She can't wow. tell what is going on. That's she has been, yes, she has been threatened. That you send it to anybody that's going to um, kill her. You know, that's what it is for me too. You know, you tell her, that's what this man use. If you talk, I will kill you. Okay. And of course, nobody wants to die. So we always we shut her mouth. If you spend so much time with, Sexual abuse girls will tell you that's what we do. I will kill you. Okay. Do you get my point? So we, I got in there and of course I had to. As therapist, we, we, we I spoke to her and she told me it's a, it's a mom's growth. They are even two on a four year old child, okay. and you know, but she wouldn't talk because there's always a threat that goes with it. I was threatened, so I didn't talk. So most girl child that abuse is out of threat and you don't talk. So you won't see the sign. We will see it. Okay. Thank you very much, Ron. Now, as a behavioral therapist, 
What role can you play on this effect of a girl who has been sexually abused? Um, when I am, I was, you know, sexually abused, mm -hmm. and still working with those that are sexually abused now. Okay. It has emotional effect. It has psychological effect. Okay. Let me open to you, um, Precious. Right. Yes. It has. Um, it's bad. Okay. And it could cause any girl to go into addiction. Because, yes. Because when you are emotionally imbalance okay. because there's threats from these men that are sexually abusing this child you know it's there's something it does to your system mm -hmm. you're not psychology okay you're not you're not just okay hmm. wow that is really touching yeah it is now you spoke about addictions yeah i don't really understand what you mean by that okay Maybe open the open about yes now when a child is sexually abused okay it will get to a point that she will get into sexual addiction. Okay. To get to a point, she will get to pornography addiction. All right. Yeah. She will get to masturbation. Okay. Because the body can't control itself anymore. The body can't control, control itself. itself. It's, more, it's, it's more like, I want more, I want more, I want more. So they, they, they get to a so point they of... they for the sex. They will start crazy because, yes, because their body is... It's, you know, abuse is, is not a pleasant thing. Okay. Abuse is something that you're not ready for. Okay. My body just abused like that. I wasn't prepared for it. I wasn't, you know, so now when a man stops abusing me sexually, my body still wants it. And that's why you see this prostitute thing. Okay. Okay. So some sex, you know, this prostitution, some are sex in the world. Okay, just sleep with me, get money. But some just do it for pleasure, just like come sleep with me. Mm. And most of it happens that even this same girl will sleep with men, she doesn't even love. Just for satisfaction. Just for satisfaction. Wow. When you are sexually abused. Lot, guys. That's you will be that's I got and you know, and to get to a point of pornography, you know, we don't like pornography. Yeah. Yes. They will love to watch it. They just want to see, just want to just want to read it, just want to be watching and it was what that one what that one also do to your body is it arouses it, okay? And of course, it gets to masturbation. So because the body is already in abuse, it's not what it is there to be. Just want to keep doing it. And that's why emotionally it is damaging. Psychologically, it can run everybody mental. Some girls are into alcohol, you know. They don't want to go into the sex addiction. They don't want to be like on, on drugs. Oh, yes. yes, some are on drugs. Some are on the drugs. Are, the drugs they use is the drug of um, um, trying to suppress the satisfaction. It's not to take them high. Oh. Some are tired, so they want to suppress it. So they're always on drugs. Mm -hmm. Always on drugs. Wow. Because we work with them. I've, I've been there, and we're working with them, trying to help them see that these things will not help you. So what do you do when someone like so that threatens you? That's do okay. you go to the police? Do you tell people about it? Do you make a call, maybe someone should post it on the newspaper and all of that. What were the necessary steps you took? That's very emotional. Because passes. now, on your case, you said you are an overcomer. That means you are a victor. Yeah. So, what necessary action did you take? Now, the action I took um, was I spoke. I got tired. You got tired of speaking? I got tired of being molested. I got tired of being abused. Okay. I got tired of being emotionally. Abuse or psychological abuse. I just got tired. All right. Some ladies get tired of it. Okay. And you see them talk. So who did they talk to about it? Your parents? No. That's that's a lot of us don't go to our parents because we feel, oh, I don't want to hold my mom. Okay. I don't hold my dad. Okay. These are his family. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. I understand. So what we do is we we'll go to a friend. A friend. A friend who's not part of this at all. So what I do was I spoke to a friend. Now who spoke to somebody? I got help. Now, speaking of friends, did you get to speak to a mature friend? Of course, mature, mature ones. So what Those was who mean? understand. No, she, she couldn't handle the case too. So what she did was, she spoke to someone who's not a okay. who works with. Therapist has, you know, therapist has always been, so she spoke to a therapist for me. Oh. So they got me involved, they spoke to me. Okay. They, 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 they actually asked me to go speak to my mom, and I told them no. 
So why would you not talk I to I just told her, I don't want to hurt my friend. That's how I feel. Any girl child you see. Now let's do like Ochaya. Um, I, I watched uh, okay. you know, um, what happened to her. All right. Ochaya could have spoken. She didn't. And let me tell you what happened to her. Is it fair? I don't want to hurt my mom. Because when she did this to her, it's her aunt's husband and her aunt's son. Okay. So in all that, we avoid hurting people that are close to us. It's not intentional. Okay. It's an emotional thing. I don't want my mom. I don't want my dad. So we don't end up hurting people, but we want to hurt ourselves, ourselves. the more. That was where the psychological thing comes in. Wow. So it makes you embarrassed. Because you don't even know where to go to. Where should I run to? What do I do? Who do I talk to? What do I it is, it, see, sexual abuse is a big thing. And I, and, I, and I feel that this country needs to take, needs to do something about it. Okay. The US, they do a lot about it. You don't molest that child and go to school. But here it's just like as if nobody's talking about it. So a lot of girls they are walking on the, the road. The help that they need. And a lot of girls are on the road that are abused, but they are not told. Because you can't see, it's not written. Now, back to the parents, madam. The parents, they get hurt. What are your steps after that? Of course, they will cry. <laughs> <laughs> they will cry. All and right. then they go to that uncle. Okay. Or that, or that whoever the guy is. And hold him, you know, like this. <laughs> That's a typical version of a local woman. Like, yes, I'll give you an example of what happened. I went, I went to visit a friend at the hospital. And the 17 year old girl was, was, was raped. Okay. And I was trying to talk to the child, you know, to, you know, how are you feeling, whatever. The mom was telling me, you better leave. The guy, I want to follow me to with that guy. She called police. So I said, man, you don't start with that. Mm. So the guy will dealt with, but can we heal this child first? So that's why a lot of times don't involve our parents. They take the last step as the first one. Okay. Rather than getting here, so they will scatter the whole thing. You know, so a lot of times it's just it's 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 just something that is um it's someone who's very close to you and who pray that person. Okay. It takes effort to get that out of your system. It takes effort. Now, well, we're still discussing this on the parents. Mm. Are parents to be blamed for all this? No, not at all. But I said to people, there are cases whereby you are right. Okay. You are correct. Yes, at the point, I'm not being my parent, my mom always at home with us. And it still happened. So let's talk. She's at home with me, and it still happened. Okay. But as some they say, like, oh, because I'm not going to have time for them, right? Yes. Yes. And they That's the thing. Yes, I agree with the parents are to be blamed, but they're not to be blamed. But some, you are under the same roof, and it's happening. So, am I going to bring my mom? Now, what do you think of a father abusing his own daughter? You know, we hear all manner of things like, so my daughter is old. too pretty, and um, I want to be the first person to actually, you know, be there in tour. Yeah. What do you think of fathers like that? <laughs> I didn't have a dad like that anyway, so... Okay. But honestly... Well, I'll um, us out there. People yes. are suffering. Yes. Yes, you are very correct. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to say about that, but it's sad. Okay. It's very, very sad. And I feel for those girls. Okay. I know that in Lagos State, you know, they have this women affair and we're dealing with it. Okay. And and empowerment, women, and, women and yes. all of that, right? And then the recent case that I had about that happened was a 70 year old man. On a, on a nine month old baby. Mm. And the man is a grandfather. The grandfather. Oh, on a daughter's nine month old baby. That's really touching. That's really touching. And. Um, I don't know, but it's it's sad. Really sad. But my prayer is um I just pray and hope that somebody's father will not think about that. Okay. But I know it's happening, but you know, doing three of those things, I feel like the father who has abused the child should go for an educational program. No. Correctional program. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? So how do they go up? About that. And they have that as they want to so you should they have a closer they deal with that. They don't say it's just correction, you need to help them out. Okay. They need a mental home. Okay. Something's wrong with his brain. Hmm. Because it's not just your daughter brain. and say, Yes, my daughter. That's just that's just it. Oh, okay. Now, madam, 
What's your advice for young ladies or, on, or a girl child who are abused? What's your advice? What do you want to tell them? What do you want them to look up to? Okay, I, 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 I'm sure that looking and they're listening. I have one thing to tell them, and that is speak out. They don't speak out, you can't get help. But they speak out, speak out, ladies. Do not, they will tell you, these men will tell you, I will kill you. That's what they use. But I just want you to please don't take the dread, just listen and run for help. Go to someone who can, who can help you. You need to speak out. The only thing you can you win this into speak out and you get the message from up. That book can help you there. There are there are you know community therapies that all of them over there to help you to get the best that you can get. And not that they have not just for you, but also for the same guy that's doing this, so that person can get help. But the bottom line is just speak out. Thank you very much, madam. How long do you think they could overcome this? Because it's a challenge for them. Yes. So how long do you? Think? Yes, it's it's it's. That's that's how you you just be a therapist, and you keep doing this. This is what we do all the time. Time. You keep talking. And some activities we do to take care of the body. You know, some at the point even as we're working, they'll tell you they hate men. Yeah. Some are not ready to get married. Yes. Some they. Then it comes to men. It's just. Just test the signs. And that's one sign you should look at when the girl feels I don't want to. That's a problem. We look at when I have a very close one, a child who's telling me, I don't want to um I don't like a guy. I don't want to marry. I knew something has happened. Do you get So you need to so yes, I'm saying this to parents right now, looking at when a child begins to like have this issue with men, you need to find out what is going on with your child. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Mark. You know most girl child. They are not totally open. Yes. So no, it's just fear. As I told you, it's just fear. There's a threat to everything that is going on. Some they always were like, they mean they are they are they even even as, I, as we're talking right now, they are they are, they are just, they So you know, that's the threat. that's the challenges a girl child has to face. Yes. You know. Abuse tribes are everywhere. They are always, you see them, you even talk to them and you don't know that they are abused. Mm -hmm. Please, viewers, if you know anyone, make sure you come in contact with the government. Try as much as possible mm -hmm. to follow up on those ladies because you are not just saving lives, you are helping them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ma. It's mm -hmm. good to have you with us. Thank you. All right. For more information, join us on Facebook at Event Owambe as we talk about different important societal problems. It promises to be engaging, enlightening and educative. Do not miss it.